All week we've been introducing you to the future of the NFL. The draft itself with Pro Day is taking place. We've talked about some of the household names you all know, but what about the guys flying under the radar that you should know? It's been a lot on my mind since I'm back in my bubble. Find a way to fix it and look at something I'll stick with. A young knucklehead, a open nitwit. NFL draft prospect Shamarius Gilmore puts in countless hours of training ahead of his NFL career. Talk to me a little bit about your training schedule for getting ready and prepared for the NFL. So you come up here, uh, you do pro day drills in the morning, you come in with a lift and afternoon, and then recovery every single day at every single minute. I'm Josh Richardson, I'm the owner of Velocity Athlete Development. We're gonna show him doing offensive line drills that showcase and highlight what he's really good at. So focusing on just taking pass sets, his run blocking, coming off of the line. We're even gonna have him snapping the ball. I grew up on the uh, south side of Atlanta. So with my family, I am uh, one of 14 siblings. So I have 11 sisters and two brothers. Started playing football when I was 12 years old. Uh, you know, a lot of people play rec league and little league and peewee and things like that. I didn't, you know, my mom was scared. Her baby was gonna get hurt. As Gilmore dominated at the high school level, his size, strength, and agility caught the attention of Georgia State University. Gilmore committed to the Panthers football program in 2017. By the time I walked in here, uh, seeing him lead the O-line, I knew eventually he would lead our football team. It's very evident. I think he was named captain after his sophomore year, which is kind of crazy to think. Gilmore was a force at Georgia State. He started all five years and was an all Sun Belt Conference selection all five seasons. And what he is is a winner. He's got a mild demeanor, you know, off, off the football field, sitting down having casual conversations. It's time to work, it's time to, it's time to work. Mild manner, kind of cool, calm, collected. Is this like your kind of personality all the time or? When you put on those pads, are you just a different kind of a person? Oh yeah, man, you know, when those pads come on, you know, I'm a competitor, man. That's why I love the game, man, I love to compete. You don't, you don't get, the, you don't get this uh, Shamarius on game day, I promise you. You get a head full of steam coming at you. his successful career at Georgia State, Gilmore begins his preparation for the NFL. From a football standpoint, his F, what we call FBI, which is football intelligence, is incredible. We spend a lot of time not just focused on the techniques out on the field, but we also spend time understanding the X's and O's. Draw up your favorite run play uh, that you guys ran at Georgia State. I, ain't gonna lie, I have a lot of favorites. I'm gonna go over reliable though. I'm going to go over inside zone with a tight end insert for the backside linebacker. With this one, it's going to be filled right. So if the Sam is walked up, we'll give a tough call. That means everybody's coming through. If he's off, we'll give a two middle call. That means we're responsible for the box. Tuck it down here. Left tackle will take an inside zone step. Well, take an inside foot step and go for the Sam just in case they run a the game. So that inside foot step, if the DN comes outside, he'll be able to collect them. And he does just as well as any coach in being able to explain what's happening technically as well as fundamentally during a play for each position. The running back's read is the nose. So if he plays front side, he has the back side cut. If he plays back side, he has the front side. You didn't get invited to the NFL Combine. Is that something you take personally? You always got to have a couple chips on your shoulder, man. I feel like I, I put in the work. Uh, I feel like my work is there. I feel like the film shows it. But you know, you, some, some things you just gotta take personal. That's something that sticks with me. Gilmore isn't phased from the snub. His focus shifts towards Georgia State's Pro Day. Scouts from numerous teams attended as prospects showcased their skills 
and got their official measurements. But it was Gilmore who stole the show. Gilmore put up 36 reps in the bench press, which would have been the most reps out of anyone who attended this year's combine. Following a successful pro day, Shamarius Gilmore looks towards the NFL Draft, where he hopes a team will give him a shot. When you draft an offensive lineman, a guy like him, uh, you just look at him. I mean, he didn't miss a star for five years. Uh, I think the reliability of that young man is off the charts. You can count on him day in and day out. Football feels just natural for him, and uh, he's going to do a great job. Whichever team gives him an opportunity, and he will excel there as well. He's gonna get after you from beginning to the end of the game, right? Not just from beginning of the whistle to the end of the whistle, but from the beginning of the game to the end of the game, he's gonna stay after you. Very relentless in that aspect. Why should Shamaris Gilmore be a starting offensive lineman in the NFL? As an offensive lineman, I'm durable, I'm strong. On the run game, I'm physical. Pass game, I'm physical. My hands are strong. Uh, I play with a great base. I play with leverage. And, not, and just outside of football, man, you're getting, you're getting a great person, man. Uh, somebody that lives for football, man. I'm a competitor, man. I love to compete. You're just getting a uh, total package, man. You're getting a good person and a good player.